You've got the dragonfly here, okay. So you have be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right, Virgo, what's happening here? What else is happening for Virgo in January? What is Virgo finding out? What is coming to light? Virgo, I feel like uh, there's a message here of just, you know, float on your tippy toes through January. Don't be too serious. Just, just kind of like take things with a grain of salt. Don't, <laughs> don't, um, as my friend says, don't make mountains out of molehills. All right, let's see. All right, so you've got the Page of Cups. So there is going to be some sweet, loving communication coming in. <laughs> Somebody, um... <laughs> okay, there's a little stress happening here. Nine of Swords, some anxiety. Um, tell me more. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's somebody showing up here that might feel like you're not interested in, in um, committed relationship for some of you. And there's also this energy of someone um, I feel like um, has to keep in touch with you because like they have this person. Okay. And we're going to find out who it is. This person has what I like to call fantasies uh, um, about you, Virgo. Like little, um, well, let, let me not get into too much detail about that. But this person has like fantasies about you, okay? And it stresses them to the point where they have to, they have to talk to you, right? Like... They're, the dreams or the fantasies or the visions that they have about you are so real. You know when you have like a dream and then you, you wake up from that dream and it was just, it felt so real, okay? <laughs> um, but the thing is like, these are like good dreams and then these are nightmares at the same time. <laughs> so uh, Virgo, you might be having some like very realistic dreams in January or you might have already started and you might be having some nightmares or just bad dreams and I feel like your emotions are coming up like there's a release happening in January um there's no there's no more suppression of your feelings this this is what they're saying and they start coming out in your dreams and that you know might have a lot to do with um, you needing to be very lighthearted and even the finding out, things coming to light. Um, this is a healing that's happening, right? I often feel like when your dreams become very realistic, oh, surreal and very realistic, um, that's kind of like everything that was suppressed in the the deep darkest parts of of your soul are coming up to the shallow now for you to deal with these things for you to release and let go like if you don't keep a dream journal um keep one it, when you're when you're remembering your dreams anything that you remember or anything that is very significant that feels extremely real write it down in the month of january because that's that's kind of like your subconscious is trying to say, hey, this here has been buried and I'm showing you a movie of this and it may not be exactly as you remember or it could be a memory that's coming up and I want you to like pay attention to this and I want you to be sweet to yourself and good to yourself as you're as you're having these these dreams and and these whether they're nightmares or, or good dreams. But but Virgo, the dragonfly is all about ascension, right? So this, this is part of your healing, okay? Um, now, there may be some communication from someone that triggers. Uh, there may be some flirting or some loving, lovey-dovey communication in January that triggers these dreams to start coming up, okay? Let's see what else is going on. 
All right. So you've got the five of wands. So here's the queen of swords again. Um, okay. Injustice. Wow. Seeking truth. Like, so there's some conflict. Okay. Uh, maybe with a Libra. Past, present, or future. Could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Um, naughty and nice energy. Virgo, you're also conflicted with yourself in January. Okay. <laughs> Virgo's like, I, I can't with this. This is too funny. Virgos are like the type, on a general um, basis, um, can be very conservative. Conservative in their dress conservative in their speech, conservative in their routines, and the things that they do, right? Almost you would think that they were like a bookmarm, you know? Very smart, very intelligent, very acute and aware, but behind closed doors, Virgo is a naughty, naughty one, okay? Virgo, <laughs> I, you definitely... You've got a little dissonance happening here. They're just telling me. And you need to look at that. Virgo, you might have guilt, maybe for some of you, for the naughty things that you've done in your life. And then you might have guilt for being too nice and too accommodating. Okay. So I feel like there's this getting, you have conflict about, you know, because it sits here perfectly. Um, you might have some guilt about initiating messages with someone that wasn't healthy for you. Um, or you might, it might not even be guilt. It just might be an awareness or kicking yourself like, you know, I shouldn't have sent those naughty pictures. Um, or I shouldn't have um, asked for them. Or um, I shouldn't have been so nice. I should have just been a little, you know, not such a doormat. So you have some conflict definitely in January. And the reason I'm laughing, I'm not laughing because I'm happy you're having conflict. Definitely not. But I'm laughing because this is so in alignment. It's coming together this way. And I, I feel like this message is like for real. You know, I, I do see you like kind of sorting out the difference. Like you might be like, oh, I want to be really naughty. You know, um, I don't or I don't want to lose that. You might be feeling like you're losing that. Why am I saying naughty and nice? Because it's right here. Okay. Um, you're definitely making a list <laughs> of um, checking yourself, doing some inventory. You know, you're going through some, I feel like you're going through some letting go energy. I do. Um, and also coming to this place of just acceptance of who you are. Now, you can define naughty or nice however you like. You know, I can't define that for you. I was trying to give you some ideas there, but you're you're definitely starting off the new year um, where you're seeking clarity and truth, okay? Um, there might be this something, you might have a competition or you might be competing with an air sign as well. And um, you, you might be trying to figure out which... Um, attack weapon you're going to use on this person should you just kill him with kindness or should you do something that's not so nice in some kind of conflict it might come up and you might be trying to like you know, virgos are very strategic for the most part and um virgos don't just fly off the handle generally not all virgos but Virgos don't generally fly off the handle. They kind of think it through and kind of plan how they're going to deal with something. If you're not that person, that might be something for you to work on. Um, not, not that spontaneity is a bad thing. It's just that spontaneity is better if it's fun, uh, for fun, not for um, becoming unhinged. So, yeah, there is, there might be some competition showing up here and you might be kind of feeling like okay how am i going to deal with this you know um having a little bit of stress in regards to that situation all right let's see what's your advice virgo oh you got the devil <laughs> okay oh uh the, the, your advice is to kill kill everybody with kindness virgo that's that's revenge is a dish best served cold all right if you if you are feeling that 
that basically means don't act on your 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 vengeance don't act out vengeance okay the best thing to do i feel like your advice here is um just to to be hospitable i i have an old saying that i love that i always stick with it's like if that's what you want to do have at it do your thing i'm good so if you're able to get yourself in that position um they just keep giving me like this power up with the devil, you know, um, because the devil wants to be nasty, but um, but the devil is very cunning and sly and killing people with kindness is a very effective weapon. It's very cunning and sly. Nobody says you have to mean it <laughs> if you're trying to get back at someone. But if there's a situation that arises for you in January, I feel like your advice there is. Yeah. If somebody's giving you a hard time, buy them lunch. If someone's like trying to move in on your person, um, I want to say um, praise them. Not your person, but the person who's trying to do that. Because they're going to look at you like, what the hell is Virgo up to? What are they doing? Look at that. You see that lantern? That's That right there is Virgo's lantern. And you got their number, Virgo, the hermit lantern and you've got their number by killing them with kindness right because i feel like this person is going to be defenseless and they will put up some like strong boundaries um, and be very persistent with that and stop what they're doing so i don't know you know there could be like um some words being said that turns into some kind of competition or argument i you know whether it's with a lover or whether it's with um a friend family member, co-worker, colleague, whomever, your advice all across the board is be kind. Just be kind. Um, don't get in tr ensnared in any kind of tit for tat or back and forth. Just keep your distance and, and just, you know, uh, I don't know. I just feel like kindness is the most effective weapon to use on anybody uh, because it makes the opponent... Um, useless they, they like you know like the puppy scenario i mean <laughs> somebody gives you a puppy your enemy gives you a puppy it's like that's the kindest thing i could never hurt them <laughs> it actually promotes peace so i mean obviously that's your vice you do what you want you take it if you want to if you want to do that if you don't want to do that perfectly fine hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.